Ladies and gents, Gary here, Fathers for Justice, South Africa, still the 2nd of September 2021. Um, the Unconstitutional Children's Act. The Unconstitutional Children's Act promotes child abuse. Okay. So, let's have a look at two things. The, the Children's Act, insofar as the way it is constructed, it forcefully removes, it obliterates, invariably... The father out of the children's life in 91 to 92 percent of the time okay where is the emo emotional and, and and psychological um care of that child's well-being taken into account i will put all the stats and everything in the the remarks so please just just uh, bear with me okay the bottom line is is that the, the state, specifically around with the Sasa grant, has said to men, you are garbage, you are excrement, and we are removing you out of life, and we're going to compensate mommy in order to keep you out of the child's life. You do not make the rights and responsibilities of uh, the care of the child on an equal shared 50-50 basis. The Children's Act does not specifically make reference to the fact that both parties are jointly, equally, and severably liable for maintaining the child insofar as contact, care, guardianship, and maintenance is concerned. And then you all sit back, stunned and amazed. Why have we got a 70% fatherless rate? The, the Children's Act, the way it is written, the way it is constructed deliberately with malicious intent says that the mother is superior to the child and father's rights uh, both from a constitutional legal emotional psychological and financial point of view are concerned you've deliberately done that, that it, it was a deliberate malicious intention the other side of this is is also around parental alienation so um in the recent uh, citizen article um, that was edited or um, written by the amazing uh, Mariska Kutzer, um, Dr. Pixie de Toy stated that between 85 and 90 percent of the time, parental alienation is committed by mothers. Okay. The Fathers for Justice did, did a poll recently, you know, uh, earlier on this year, and we're still gathering information out of that poll. But the bottom line is, is that fathers tell us that in 74% of the case time, they are partially alienated from their children. 50% of our fathers tell, that they are to tell us that they are totally alienated from their children. So let's just have a look at this logically. You award the child to the mother in 91 to 92% of the time. Mothers are responsible for between 85 and 90% of parental alienation syndrome. Our fathers tell us that they are partially or totally alienated between 74 and 50% of the time. Where does the problem lie, guys? The Children's Act is designed specifically to abuse children. Okay. You need to remove, you need to flesh out Section 7. The child must have automatic, daily, physical, emotional, psychological, spiritual contact care, guardianship and maintenance with by and of both parents at all times. Section 19, 20, 21 must be removed. Not even, we are not interested in negotiating this any longer. And it must be amalgamated into section 18. Where we categorically state that both parents must automatically have daily physical, emotional, psychological, contact care, guardianship, guardianship and maintenance, rights and responsibilities with, by and of their child. You also need to take 
the abuse of children very, very seriously. Either, either the government is serious about addressing abuse of children in this country or they are not. We're not interested in the flim-flam way that they handle it any longer. Bottom line is, is that parental alienation has been known to be uh, child abuse comfortably for at least a decade. It has been declared by the World Health Organization as child abuse. Places such as Brazil recognize Brazil, Sweden, certain, uh, there's about 13 states in, in, in America, recognize parental alienation as child abuse. Why are we sitting on the fence here? The state is either engaging in state-sanctioned legalized child abuse or it's not. You're either going to declare parental alienation syndrome as abuse or not. It's that simple. Not only the alienator, but his or her lawyers, advocates, psychologists, social welfare workers must be criminally prosecuted under the Criminal Procedures Act for child abuse. Period. End of story. Not open to discussion. Not open to negotiation. You've got to stop it. Parental alienation is done for. Okay. Please like, share, and subscribe this video. Please um, go on to our YouTube uh, channel, uh, YouTube, LinkedIn, Facebook, Google. Um, uh, like, share, and subscribe there, please. If you are needing additional assistance, www.f4j, the number 4j.co.za. Uh, alternatively, email us at uh, info at, uh, info at f4j.co.za. The connection or the link to get onto the WhatsApp support group is on the, the website. If you guys are brave enough, we are offering assistance to assist you to go and represent yourselves. Okay, so we are now offering that service through a certified, qualified lawyer and lecturer. Um, if you need that assistance, please contact me. Yes, we do charge for it, but it's nowhere near the pornographic amount that you're spending. Uh, love and light to you all.